Yes, my people, it's been a while since me dive off from my spot, you know. Weather look beautiful here, so. Beauty, beautiful weather look, my people. Beautiful, look at it, man. We have low, low wind today, you know. Yeah, man, and we have nice sun shine, you know. Visibility look good, but I don't make you fool me still because when it looks like all is white. Yeah man, I'm there up on the rock side, you know. See a fisherman down there, the spear fisherman as well. He look like he just came from spear fishing. Yeah man, so he must kill some fish there. Yeah. yeah man, look like I'm alone too. Yeah man, the next guy there. And yeah, I know the next guy too. Two of them. I know the next one. The regular fisherman we see all the while. Know him long time. Child is have a nice bag there. Just come out of the water. I mean, I go down there now, but look at it, man. Look, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, man, and I go do a solo dive this morning. Come on, me alone. I'm in a drive, come up here so still because. The, the roadside just the up the road up this one and I see that one and I see that here as a mirror life and about two and a half miles from here so or I say three, four miles three and a half miles you don't have to call it the boat dock you don't have to go drive come all the way so you don't even have to buy gas put in my car you don't have to go buy a hold it for gas put in my boat so it would make sense if I drive the boat that waste money I see side and I was waiting for Dive on it. Nice catch. This is a year. No So I kick off this dive with this red belly. The visibility wasn't good at this spot. I was heading down the sea and I realized that it was murky bad. This was my first dive in the murk. Could see the visibility was poor. Right here is at the Japa area and this was while I was heading up back and you could see the water quality here was a lot better. The 
This was my second fish, a mackerel. It wasn't a big one though. a fishing boat they were set in fish pot the current wasn't bad though it was heading down the sea slight A nice size jack. I also got it. The first three shot I took, they connect. Also the fourth shot, this was a gold tail. I saw this jack on the bottom. It wasn't dead, it seems like it escaped from one of the guys that I passed on the rock side. Could see it still breathing. I put it on my string, further down I use it for a good cause. This was a small turtle. This was a good sized parrotfish. And I have this thing about me. I always tend to hesitate before I take shots. So that's what happened there. I could have more than speared that fish. A grunt. Could see I get a clear shot there, but I miss. Jacks. No chance. A lovely school of grunt live at this spot, so I was trying here to get one. Could see them, quite a few of them was out. I aim one and took the shot, but I only got a few skills. This was a pudneras. The spear jagged the gun out my hand. The shooting line turned land the rubber. I 
I was seeing quite a few fish in this dive. Today wasn't bad. This was our next jack hunting. I also got this one. A nice grunt was on this rock face. I was trying to sneak down on it, but it didn't work out. This was our next mackerel. I chased this one down. I saw quite a few of them but they were small though. This one wasn't that big either. I saw a huge school of snapper, mutton snapper. So the same jack that I found, I chummed the water with it. And a few of them came to feed. You could see I silently glide my way down on these two. The bigger one head for the deep, but I managed to get the smaller one though. I saw some real big ones in this school, but I was grateful though, I got this nice one. This was back at the Japaf area, I was just scanning to see if I could catch anything else. But nothing though, I head for the shallow. And I spear this goldfish just as I was heading out of the water. Yes, back on land. Come on, do a, a, a wonderful dive, man. Water was um, as bright, you know, because the sun was in and out, so it was a little bit warm up here at times, and uh, the visibility weren't that good. You know, it was a little bit more you say white, you know, but um, search and search, I find, you know, I found a few. And the last of this one nice cool uh, mutton snapper with some real big one inside, some 35 pound one. Nah, line, nah, tell a line. The jackfish, when I find it, when I find alive, I use them to kind of chum up the water with him. Some of them came in real close and give me a chance, you know. I mean, you get one of these 
smaller one them. But it's about a cheap one size one. I'm tell you some real big one you know, over in the blue. And I try to get a clip to see if the camera could have captured but I'm not sure yet. You guys will assist me. Yeah man. But however do as I say, do a good guy, get a good catch. You know, very good catch today. Me give a lot that time. This is what I found today. Yeah, so you know, these are the mountain snapper. These are the one that I get out of the big school there. Yeah man, this is about a 3 pound size one. Nice one, you know. Heavy too, you know. I never chum the water, then I wouldn't get the chance. Because I food in the day I search how I make the, the You know, I chum up the water, you know. So then, nah, uh, pay me no mind. Because then, them did a behave weary, bad. Nah, I can come in close to them, you know. Mm -hmm. So on gold tail, yeah. Shot on me. Yeah. Nice gold tail. A two jack, two bar jack. One of them black coloration. He did a hunt. That's why I'm have this coloration. You know. Same jack. And also, a little mackerel. I see quite a few of these, but they're not big. You know, and Spanish mackerel. And they grow real big. So. It makes sense to try to shoot them small ones. So, this is the second fish I shoot. You know, I'm not in trouble no more. This is the first fish. Red belly, nice one. And, uh, this is the last fish. This is the dive. This is a goat fish. We call them goat mullet, you know. Pretty fish. But, yeah, it tastes good, real good to eat, real good. It's a nice adult size one, this. They're not really. Go to jumbo size, you know, like these. These will grow really big. And even the, the gold tail grow big on them. Jacks grow bigger too. Mackerel, really big. Yeah, man, so that's a my catch. I love me alone still. So, good catch today, you know. Real good catch me get today. So, uh, I'm going to get them clean up, you know. I know what style of clean up is just scale and good. So these are well clean fish, everything clean up. You know, I mention all the time I saw we clean fish are yard. If anything else you want to do with them, you can do you can do a fillet, anything at all, you know. You can do bone after anything. Yeah man, so these are well clean and you know? I'll get them on a straight. Mm -hmm. I mean, I definitely I'll go weigh them after I finish, you know, because I want to know how much I catch today. This is a nice catch, you know. Mm. I feel heavy too. Right, me a clock one eight pound man. Yeah, nice catch today, you know. Yeah, I go head up daily, you know. I go wear the fish them still, but when I reach home, I probably wear the snapper different, if anything. Yeah, man, I don't know if I am going to sell them, yes or no, yet. I'm not sure yet, you know. Yeah. This 
I say four pound, four and a half pound. That means uh, the snapper probably two and a half then. And then about the string and heavy for that still. What try me? I'll be re zero it and try again. Yeah man, I eat you yeah man. Well, four and a half, you can't call the boat. Four six pounds. Four scale. the kitchen you know you know and this is where me have you know yeah man this are the snapper and everybody yeah so so see the catcher mm. looking okay, nice nah, but I do not sell in on these you know you know so you know do some nice cook mother asks the fish so she can get out of these as well you know so nice boy yeah. as I say me don't weigh him I don't weigh him and I'll make you guys see how much him weigh differently you know yeah man mmm mmm so him is a two pound snapper yeah man do want to look a bit after before scale and gut yeah. no big me that's a one three and a half pound but two pound him weigh you know Still nice boy I see me. Nice. Come on, so you know, as I say I do something with something or so maybe a snapper. Yeah man, so just go and watch. So we are gonna finally do something you know my people and what happened? If it happened, we're gonna deal with this snapper. See me? I'm gonna do some steam fish and okra with him, you know? Yeah man, so we have him cut in a two season up already with some slices yeah man we have to start him out proper yeah man the school eh? I me only get that one here so you go still mm, try back the spot the one next day you know I'm sure when it took me and try back the spot there yeah man we do some diving in you know, the cars I work in a pass back a Cuba back a eight today so hopefully it around in some fish you know in the Caribbean waters, although a Caribbean they so in a our side of the water, you know. Yeah, man, I say, what do you want to look small cook on this? Look at steam it, some crackers and sitting. Yeah. You have some of the things that are well prepared, so you know, it's a Irish potato, carrot, hot pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, honey, and and um, tomato. You know, this we have other things here, you know, like skelly and thyme. Some of that thing same, you know? If you go in it, so we we'll start the process, you know. That's a butter there, so we leave a smoke in our pot. So the new glass go in, you know. Yeah, so add the coconut milk, you know. Mm. And also the fish are going after this, huh? Mm. 
hands so it's ready for you fish you know size and also a big pot of fish you know mind mm -hmm. me could have catch on a big one then we could win it and could more than a pot still I'm not part for cooking, you know. Yeah, man. This one do it. Uh, Japanese occurred, you know. The fish are nice for do this with you, man. So crackers time, you know. Mm. 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 Fish and crackers, man. Gonna fish a good fish steam, you know. One leap of flesh, one leap of bone, and the fish and too small, too much bone. Them big size fish, you know. Come yeah, on, so this is this, this finish, you know. I'll get it in some plate, you know. Make use of this, you know. Now, if you ask how it tastes, you know, this tastes really good. And a few crackers in it, so the fish tail, you know. So, nice. Right, so, once more, my people give thanks, you know. You have a lot of thanks, you know. Yeah, man. And remember, you know, like the video, leave a like on the video. Yeah, man. I do see you guys in the next one, alright?